Good day everyone, welcome to our forum. Today we are going to discuss about the organizational development in human resource management. Before we start our forum today, let me introduce our members in this meeting room. We are from group 13 and I'm in Dominic Lim Iwei, which is moderator for this forum today. Also with my teammates which is Huang Ki Kai, Liao Chun Ming, Ma Chi Fong and Chan Chun Li. Before we start our forum, let me have a simple introduce about human resource management. Human resource management is the administration of all personal decisions made inside an organization. It is concerned with maximizing the organization's human resource and enhancing employee performance in order to achieve the organization's objectives. It purposes to strike a balance between employee needs and satisfaction, as well as an organization's profitability and capacity to fulfill this objective. Nowadays, human resource leaders has played a critical role in adjusting their organization workforce to the anticipated change on the global pandemic COVID-19 during last year. Last year established the framework for a tremendous growth in the remote work, which considerably increased the visibility and value of a human resource to the company. As we can anticipate the workforce to continue to change considerably considerably evolved over the next two years. Back to our topic today, we are going to discuss organizational development in human resource management. So let us start from Wang Ki Kai to introduce about in organizational development. Thank you, Dominic. I am Wang Ki Kai and I would like to share about organizations development. Organizations development is an organization's improvement strategy. It turns shows a broad range various science-based strategy to diagnose the needs for chance in organizations and to implement change when necessary. In short, change management will deal with a particular change while organizations' development deal in impacting and monitoring various changes and on a continuous basis. So, in this organizational development, what are the benefits gained? There are many there are many benefits in the in this organization's development. In this forum, I will share some benefits gained. First, continuous improvement. This is due to continuous improvement, create a cycle of improvement company company strategies, such as strategies are planned by company, implemented, related, improved, and monitored. Therefore, organization's development is productive, uh, appreciate that holds uh, chance and leverage is for revenues. Second, better communication. Through the pro, the pro communications can have a negative impact, such as misunderstanding, uh, frustrations, and in some cases, disaster. The ability to communicate effectively with clients courage and managers is very important. For example, manager let employee understand the big picture and how they feel in. This is because when manager explain this to them and they feel validated, listen, listen to and employee will be the be important part for the team and the organizations. The greater profit. Profit health company determines whether a, a business can or grow. If company have a little profit, means that a company cannot afford uh, the fee expenses, which cause uh, the company to face bankrupt. For example, if company have a fixed cost of ten thousand ringgit per month to rent the machine it used to produce mark, while company does not produce any mark for the month, it will still need to pay this cost. Next, employee improvement. They earn for a company. This is due to employees trick very hard for almost the entire day to appreciate the organization's goal and objective. They need to be appreciated beside beside employee needs to grow with time. Company should help an employee to do analysis of himself. For example, management explain the explain to employee about where they would like to see themselves after five years. It also pre present the future for them and let them to things. That's all for my sharings. 
there are many benefits also against in organizations development. Thank you for the sharing. Next, I would like to invite Liao Chunming to present about the process of organizational development. Hi, my name is Liao Chunming, and I will present about the process of organizational development. An organizational development process can help create positive change in our company. But this is not a quick fix. It can take a year or longer to fully implement in this process. Organizational development program start with the identification of the problem in the organization. Analysis of various symptoms, both oral and covert, may help in identifying the problem. Diagnosis give correct identification of the problem and its causes and determines the scope of future course of action. At this stage itself, the collection and analysis of data is undertaken. Next, the organizational development will continue planning strategy for planning. Although it is a relatively simple method to identify change after they have occurred, it is considerably more difficult to influence the duration truth change are uh, independent. The way in which change is planned has an impact on the way in which it is carried out and conservancy. The problems of implementing change have an impact on the way in which it, it, it is planned. After the planning, organizational development intervention are plans or programs comprised of specific activity designed to effect change in some facts of an organization. Numerous interventions has been developed over the years to address different problems or create various results. However, they are all geared toward the goals of improving the entire organization through change. The organizational development will come to evaluation. This step greater to evaluate the result of organizational development programs so that suitable action may be followed up. Since organizational development is a long process, there is an urgent need for careful monitoring to get precise feedback regarding what is going on on ASUS and organizational de development program starts. In this respect, the use of critical sessions, systematic appraisal of change efforts, and post-training behavior patterns are quite effective. Thank you. As you mentioned just now, intervening in the system will simulate. Intervening in system will simultaneously integrate more than one of these interventions. Can you present more about this topic? Sure, Ken. First, interpersonal intervention is an organizational development program designed to enhance individual skills, knowledge, and effectiveness. This type of program utilizes group dynamic by gathering individual together in loosely structured meetings. Subject matter is determined by the groups within the context of basic goals stipulated by a facilitator. Second is group intervention. Organizational development groups intervention are designed to help teams and groups within organization becomes more effective. Such interventions usually assume that the most effective groups communicate well, facilitate a healthy balance between both personal and group needs, and function by conscious as opposed to autocracy or majority rules. Third, intergroup interventions. Intergroup interventions are integrated into organizational development programs to facilitate cooperation and efficiency between different groups within an organization. For instance, departmental interaction often deteriorates in larger organizations as different units better for limited resource or become detached from the needs of other units. Conflict resolution meetings are one common intergroup intervention. Last but not least, comprehensive intervention. Organizational development comprehensive intervention are used to directly create change throughout an entire organization. 
rather than focusing on organizational organizational change through subgroup intervention. One of the most popular comprehensive intervention is survey feedback. Thanks for the presentation. Next, let us invite Mark Chifong to explain about the Implement Organizational Development Strategy. Hey, yes, uh, I am Mark Chifong. You can call me Elvin. Now for me to explain to you all about the Implement Organizational Development Strategy. Organizational development skills and growth performance, improvement and talent management solutions focus on improving organizational efficiency. The implement organizational development strategies are divided into five states. First, the entry represents the in initial contact between the consultants and the client in which they introduce, explore, and identify problems, opportunities, or situations. Second, di diagnosis or can define as if Evaluations represents the state of facts investigations. It is a collaborative data collection process between the organizations, stakeholders, and consultants in which relevant information about the rest issue is corrected, analysis, and checked. The feedback. Feedback means returning the analysis information to the client or client system. Exploring the information for understanding clarity and accuracy, reviewing the preliminary agreement on a uh, scope and resources requirements, and the client right to own data. Four solutions. Solutions mean the design, development, and implementations of a solution or solution set. Aim at correction problem, narrowing gaps, improving or enhance the performance and effectiveness of the organizations or seizing opportunities. The last evaluations represent a continuous process of collecting formative and aggregate evaluation data to develop to determine whether the plan exists the expanded goals and achieve the defined success indicators. Thank you. Besides for implement organizational development strategy, organizational development initiatives are also one of important things in organizational development. Alvin will continue the explanation in this part. Okay, yes. Uh, organizations development initiative have four typical categories. That is human process, that no structure initiative, strategies, and human resources management. H uh, human process, including the team building, interpersonal relationship, and the team process methods and change. Team building activities aim to improve the efficiency and the scientific of the individuals working in the team. To improve the efficiency of the en entire teams, it is important to identify the problem of the working group as early as possible so that the solution can be applied before the problem causes any damage. Next, the no structure initiative, including the organizational re rest Restructuring. For example, measures and accreditations, feasible work designs, down seasons, business process engineering, total quality management, quality of work life, six, six smart and agility. Organizational restructuring is the act of changing the business model of an organization to make it better. These changes can be law operating processes, ownerships, and more. Human resources management initiative, including the employee engagement, employee experience, performance management, employee development, succession planning, 
purchase and ingredients, various development and diversity awareness. These are the process by which employees receive professional training to improve their skill and knowledge with, it, with the support to their employers. In the addition, succession planning is a strategy for combining leadership roles, usually the ownership of a company that is an employee or a group of employees. It is also known as the replacement plan to ensure that the company continues to run smoothly after the company. Any most important personnel are transferred uh, to new opportunities, retires, and dies. Strategy initiative Increasing organizational transformations, culture change, leadership development, and attraction and retention initiative. Organizational transformations is the process of the transforming and changes the existing corporate culture to achieve a competitive advantage or deal with major challenges. That's all for my part. I will pass it back to the moderator, Dominic. Thank you for the detailed explanation. Well, to get out about the relationship between organizational development and human resource management, firstly, we need to know more about the organizational development and also human resource management. Next, Chanchali will be defined about these two terms respectively. Thank you, moderator. I am Chan Chun Li, and firstly, I would like to propose about organizational development. Organizational development is a crucial and science based process that helps organizations grow their ability to change and achieve better effectiveness. There are a few elements in organization development. Firstly, critical and science-based process. Organizational development is a systematic and evidence-based approach. It's not a case of attempting something and seeing what happened. It's all about using scientific results as input and establishing an organized and controlled method for testing assumption. Next, build capacity to change and achieve greater effectiveness. Organization development is aimed for the organization effectiveness. Financial success, customer happiness, organizational member involvement, and greater capacity to adapt and refresh the organization are all examples of this. It's sometimes about gaining a competitive advantage. Last element in organization development is developing, improving, and reinforcing strategy, structure, and process. Organizational re development, according to the last part of our definition, refers to change in strategy, structure, or procedures. While for human resource management, human resource management is the process of recruiting, selecting, inducting employee, providing over orientation, imparting training and development, appraising the performance of employees and providing benefit of employees. There are a lot of importance of human resource management in an organization. Firstly, strategy management. This is a crucial part of human resource management and a critical part of every, every organization. Human resource management oversee strategy to guarantee that the company meets is objective as well as contributing substantially to the corporate decision making process which include employee evolution and projection based on business needs next is this benefit and analysis human resource manager work toward reducing costs such as with recruitment and retention human resource Professionals are trained to conduct efficient negotiation with potential and existing employees. Last, training and development are also an important of human resource management in an organization. Human resource managers play an important role in developing employer-employee relationship. Since they contribute considerably to training and development programs, this helps individuals 
develop inside the organization which improve employee happiness and productivity. After this, can you propose to that about the relationship between organization development and human resource management? Human resource professionals were primarily concerned with the efficient management of the employee process. As opposed to human resource, the conception of organizational development was found on a need for a systematic means of applying behavior science to help organization improve individual and process. There is some blurring between human resource and the organization development. Human resource experts have shown that they are ready, willing, and capable of combining human resource and organization development activities for the company's advantage. The organizational development community might strive to maintain its practice and tactic distinct, or it may align with human resource. The primary objective should always be to improve the human aspect of company, regardless of which sort of expert are leading the, the change. It is preferable to ensure that human resource professionals understand and appreciate when they are using organization development strategy to solve problems and which problems require organization development solution than human resource solution. So here is my proposal about the relationship between the organizational development and human resource manager. Thank you. Thank you, Chan and all my teammates today. I believe that all of you have many gained knowledge and details about organizational development. As we can see in situation now, organizational development is at a critical juncture in its evolution. Nowadays, most organizations experience one or more sorts of crisis as a result of pandemic COVID-19 in 2020, including the existential danger of unexpected demand losses, fast repurposing to deal with surge or swing in demand, or the more straightforward difficulty of rushing to enable widespread virtual working. This is one of the most challenging factors in organizational development and human resource development also. Organizational leaders are empowered to make the required and appropriate decision to overcome organizational difficulties when organizational development is applied in real-world scenarios. When seeking to identify internal and external problems that are affecting a company, organizational development expertise is critical. Understanding multiple organizational development models, such as the social technical system model, is critical for an organization's successful implementation of potential solutions. For the improvement in organizational development in future, advanced technology may be used in organizational development processes, and the time of organizational de development interventions will be minimized. The focus of organizational development may shift to learning and innovation, and the field multidisciplinary character will grow. Because organizational development practitioners deal with variety client and cross-cultural teams, they may need to gain the necessary skills. Prior to addressing value issues of modern companies, organizational development practitioners must overcome a conflict within themselves over the scope of intervention. Of interventions. As a conclusion, the role of organizational development is clearly at a crossroad. Either it adapts or positions itself to play as a proper role in defining the global organizational futures, or it is condemned to float between human resource and training. So that's all for our forum today. We have reached the end of these sessions. Thanks for being us in whole this session. Goodbye and take care.